I bought myself the cheapest check and pull tent I could find. Now this is on AliExpress. Well, all in cost me £55. This is the Toucan Trek and Pole Tent. So, this is 910 grams. The first thing I noticed about it when I got it out, very well protected. So you had the outer shell of plastic, bubble wrap, another plastic bag, bubble wrap, and then this. So even though it's cheap, they're still taking care of it. It's 15D nylon which is very lightweight material. Uh, there's the pegs in there. You get an inner tent with it and an outer. So it feels like the inside is coated to make it more waterproof. There's reinforced sections. What you do with this, you put your trekking pole at one end and there's a small pole that goes down the bottom end. So there's your small pole. So that's going to be... Well you're not going to sit down there but it's not tiny. Here's the guy lines. Fairly basic. Um, but I like this style. These ones don't tend to slip. So it's quite a nice style guy line they've, they've added with it. You get these on a lot of Chinese tents now. They're good. They are good, don't get me wrong. You get a bit of paracord on the top. You get the tri-point aluminium. Quite nice and light as well. important bit, the track and pull. So I'm just going to try it out at the height I use them for, which is just over 120 centimeters. See what that gives us. For the price of it, this is looking really good. I gotta be honest. It feels like a nice material. We've got a nice uh, covering over the zip there, so the ring won't get in. I wasn't expecting this to be as good, to be honest. I mean, it could go downhill from here on in. We'll see now. Well, that's all the pegs in. It's looking pretty solid. ventilation at the front and the back. The back seems to have some mesh under there. The front doesn't. Not sure why they'd leave it out on the one. It's looking quite strong, but what I've noticed is it's uh, dipping here. I th what I think that probably is, track and pole needs to be higher. So I'm going to try it a bit higher now, slapping these off, lift it up. There we go. It wasn't straight, that's what it was. Just checking the seam here. 
and it looks like it has been taped. That is the main place that rain would get in because it's coming from the top. But I think you're going to be fine with that. So it looks like the trekking pole needs to angle slightly this way, come in front of this. that way. I'm just trying to work out these attachments here. It's just got a loop on the end. Let's see if I can work these out now. Oh. Right, that must be for the little pole. I think the only thing you can do with this hoop is to put it through uh, the paracord for the peg for the outer. Looks like it is supposed to be like that. Hmm. I have just noticed a bit of a flaw. A lot of the pressure has been put on this one point. If this peg wants to go that way. This is the first thing it's going to be pulling out. So there's no guy lines on this side either, see? I think that one on the front, I'll probably pull it around this way. Yeah, let's do that. Now I've moved it point in this direction now. I think that'll be a lot better. Right, so I gotta say that was a lot of faffing about trying to get this sorted. This seems a little bit loose, but I know with this style of tent, it's all about whether you get this trekking pole right. Get this in the right position, and you're laughing. If it's slightly wrong, you're gonna be just going round and round sorting the pegs out all day. Because of the angle of this, any bit of pressure coming onto this is loosening this peg. But build quality seems solid. For the price, you're getting something all right. Let's lie in it. Check it out. It's snug, but it is a one person, so I was expecting that. Well, I'd say you've got enough room to lie down. My feet are not rubbing against the bottom, my head's not rubbing against the top. But it does feel a bit claustrophobic. I think it's quite a big porch on you, looking at it. Let's set this up and check this out. Um, it's not bad, it's not, it's not too claustrophobic, you know. I don't normally go for this smaller tent. You've got a decent sized porch in here. See my shoes there? Um, enough room for a rucksack. You're not going to get anything in the inner tent apart from yourself. See the tractor pole in the tent up there? I don't know. I think it's probably worth £55, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think you'll sleep in here, you'll stay dry. 
I wouldn't recommend it. But then I do like a bit of extra space. If you're crazy about saving space, saving weight even, 910 grams, it's nothing is it? You're just going to get in here and go to sleep, fine. Anything other than that, it's not for me. Cheapest trekking pole tent on AliExpress. And if you fancy one, I'll put it in the link below. Uh, nah, I'm not feeling it. Thank mm -hmm. you.